Here is a 1975-76 counterclockwise pattern, what I believe to be a Samsung motor. Uh, I've always wanted one of these blue blade patterns. I grew up with them over the decades, since the 70s, the 80s. Grew up with them. Brother-in-law has two of them. Has a McMillan motor. They're both 18s, and one of them he gave to his son, which is my nephew. The other one he kept, and uh, it has the McMillan motor with oil ports. This one doesn't have oil ports, but it does have a motor I've never seen before. I'm not sure if it's a fast or not. It's in mid condition. It's in really, really good condition, and the fan blade spins counterclockwise, royal blue metal blades. You know that was always their thing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this and pull it out and let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, there you go. There's your camera kick for the tripod. Uh, Lamont the Fan Man now goes vintage. So we're about to find out and see what we're dealing with here. So let's take it out and see what we're looking at. Looks like they did a fair good they did a pretty good job at packing it up. That's good. There it is. Wow. A little 12 inch. It's a 12 inch. So let's pull this thing out of here. Hope we can get it out of here. In one piece. Yep, there it is. Oh look at this patent glory. <laughs> That's a little motor. The motor's a little dusty, but that should be expected. Box over here. Take a look at it. Yep, there it is. And get a good look at the pattern. It looks like the blades might be a little dirty. And the blades are a little dirty because, of course, it's been used. So, but it's in absolute mint condition. There is no rust about it at all, whatsoever. Fan play has got a deep, a good pitch to it. I don't know if y'all can see it in the viewfinder. If not, my bad. It's got a good pitch to it, the fan blades. Has a nice little small motor. It's not a full-size motor, but it looks like a Fasco motor or something like that. There's some patent information. I don't know if you can read the patent information. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. So, yeah, it has an Allen screw. You have to have an Allen screw to take the blade off of it. For cleaning but i'm probably going to avoid doing that it looks like it has some weights on the back if you look at the blade i don't know if you can see that yeah see that part right there kind of look like there's some weights on the back of it on the the hub part that holds the blade onto it so that's pretty cool all right so let's get this thing on the table and let's see what we got i hope the bearings are not messed up on this And I hope the, uh, I hope the washers are not messed up on this. Well, no sparks, no nothing like that. I trust that this is in good condition. I don't know if y'all can see it in this lighting. The lighting is always bad. So like always, let me put the studio light on. So we can see what we're dealing with. Blades are dirty. I might have to take the cover off and clean the blades up eventually. It is going to get a lot of use. Now this guard is a little bit different. I'm not familiar with this guard. I think it hooks over one. I think it hooks into each other. Like it's, uh, I don't know how you take how you take this off. But there is like a tie right here. And then there's another tie right here. I suspect that's to hold it together. But it looks like these just kind of I don't know how this thing is put together, how it even. But if, we'll figure that out later, how you pull it apart. Someone that knows how to pull these apart can tell me that in the comments. How to put that type of guard off. Because it don't have clamps, it don't have screws. It's some kind of ways together. Alright, so this thing spins counterclockwise. And the moment we all been waiting for, let's see what it does. Y'all heard that, but it has a real cool startup sound. It has a real cool startup sound. I gotta get that from the back. No. Oh, I guess that was high. P. 
pretty sure the camera's picking it up. I like how it transitioned. Yep, there's that hum. Wow, this thing has a real quiet low speed, that's for sure. These fans were never meant to be that quiet. My only concern is that, is it still moving enough air over that motor so that it doesn't overheat? That's my only concern about being, going that slow. Pretty decent breeze. Wow, I really do like that startup sound. I gotta capture that startup sound from the back. It's not really, it's pronounced where you can hear it. But wow, that is so cool. The fan spins counterclockwise. That is so cool. I've always wanted a fan like this that's been kind of clockwise. It's in mid condition. Absolute perfect condition. Wow. And let's check out the balance. There is some uh, typical vibration. Very little resonation through the table. This thing is powerful, at least on high speed. It's a 12 inch fan, so what do you expect? I mean, it's not like it's an 18, it's not like it's a 20. It's a 12 inch. So for a 12 inch, I guess medium and low is supposed to be like that. It has a shaded pole motor, there is no capacitor. That is so cool, it's spinning counterclockwise. There you go, you should be able to hear the wind string. Yep, this is a 1975 76 patent by the real patent company, not by the Holmes Group. This is the real patent electric company, a 1974 75. All right, let's check out the spin down time. Spin it down, counterclockwise. Pretty decent. Don't have to give it no oil. It's pretty decent for that blade. I mean, it's a pretty decent blade. It's not like heavy, heavy. It's only a 12 inch fan. So, yeah, I like it. Now I want to take you guys off to the camera here. See if we can let you guys hear the start. So I'm pretty sure you heard it earlier. I'm pretty sure the camera picked it up. I'm going to let you guys hear that. Then I'm going to wrap this video up because I got to get out of here and get ready for work. So let's go up behind here and let you guys hear the startup sound. I don't know what kind of motor this is. I don't know if that's a fast or a Samsung. But you guys know better about these motors than I do. It's definitely not a McMillan. There is no oil ports, unfortunately. So that's kind of a bummer. But that's just the way it goes. All right, let's try to get the, see if we can get the startup sound here. Pull it right to the motor. And it's so cool. The stator is perfect. The bearings is good. The washers are good. Whoever had this last took really good care of it. And then we'll do it on low. Let's try low again. I gotta let it slow down all the way. Let's try it one more time on low. It's better when you let it stop completely. All right, let's try it again low.
Okay. Well, I hope you heard that. I think you can hear it better on high speed than you could on the other speeds. There you go. There is my 1975-76 pattern counterclockwise stand. Never had one before. In absolute perfect condition. There is no rust on this thing whatsoever. It's in absolute perfect condition, just like it was when they first bought it, whoever owned it, prior to me owning it now. The motor is worn like all motors do. They get worn. But I don't think it's an overheat or nothing like that, because like I said, the owner took care of it. So it's in really, really good condition. First counterclockwise fan I ever had like this, as far as a portable is concerned. And, you know, the ceiling fans, they always spin counterclockwise. But Well, there you go. You're going to see more of this. 1975-76 patent. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not the fan man. And out.